Hey guys, welcome back. It's Magda. It's Tuesday evening about 8 p.m. We're about to do a little home project. Uh, I have so many projects to do in this apartment um, for many reasons. If I'm going to stay here, I want this apartment perfect. And I'm if I'm going to leave here, I want this apartment perfect. So there's a lot of day-to-day -day that has been neglected for a lot of reasons. Um, a big reason was because I've been working so much overtime. I just have not really been here, um, but there's other reasons. Um, so I just got to get back into the swing of things and get this place organized and beautiful the way I like it. Fit for a queen. We're going to get it there. One little project at a time. We are in my favorite cleaning outfit that's already bleached. So we'll just go with that. I think I'm going to use this for my cleaning outfit. And I need some kind of an apron for my cooking outfit because, come on, we get a little dirty in the kitchen. We're going to tackle this window behind me. Um, this is a far corner of my kitchen where my bird loves to hang out, one of her, her, one of her like three favorite places. So she makes a mess over there. So what we're going to do is wash all her toys down. This is a little uh, shelf I put up for her. We're going to scrub that down. We're going to wash the window vacuum wash the floor around that window put down like a new sheet I put down like a little sheet just to protect the floor and we'll make it brand spanking new for her for tomorrow I have her blocked off like normally she would be sitting over there right now hanging out with me in the kitchen but I have the kitchen blocked off because I'm gonna have the windows open as I wash them outside and inside um, so she obviously does not need to be in here for that uh, so let me go get the vacuum cleaner and I'll be right back guys Okay guys, just a 30 seconds of noise and we'll be done with it. That's good. So what we're going to do next, guys, is take this area apart. This is fresh food I just put in there for her yesterday, so that's going to remain. I'm going to get her fresh water. I change this every day for her, her little tubby of water. All right, I just put the, I just clean the dish, put it aside. This is just a shelf that rests right on top. It's covered with a layer of plastic because she poops so much. I have to wipe this down several times a day because she's a poop machine. So to protect this um, shelf as much as I can, I put some plastic on here. It's, it's a lot safer that way. Um, good, we're gonna get to scrubbing, guys. I'm gonna get some equipment. I'm not terribly worried about my bird's bird poop. Don't get me wrong. I am disgusted by my bird's bird poop. But as far as um, her getting me sick from like the window or cleaning the window, I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. But what I do do, um, that brush that I used on the vacuum cleaner, I only use it for her areas. Like I don't use that in any other areas of the house. That, that brush kind of belongs to her cleaning areas. And I have this old sponge that I'm gonna use just for this window. And there's a couple other windows I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna keep this um, just to clean her areas. Um, Cause obviously I don't wanna use a food sponge on her poop. Um, I'm not terrified of her poop. Um, I don't think she's ill. She's been with me for 
going on five years, but on the other hand, I don't want bird poop all over my stuff, right? So I just um, wet this and put some antibacterial soap on here, and we're going to start scrubbing a little bit. her happy because she's going to be able to see out the window better. Um, there's it, there's so much beauty out there in the yard right now with the spring and summer moving in. There's so much green and flowers and birds. So she'll be so excited when she gets to see this tomorrow morning. I really do do this on a regular basis, but just like some of my home projects have really fallen by the wayside. And it makes me really, really upset because I love my bird so much. She comes before me. So I got to get my head straight. And this is what I'm doing with you guys. And this is what I'm doing with my channel. We're getting our stuff together. I'm going to re-wet this sponge and I'll be right back to um, wet the bottom of that window. Birds are wonderful, but boy do they make a mess. Um, I think I read a fact where a bird can poop 50 to 100 times a day. So if you're thinking about getting a bird, think about that. Think about all the scrubbing you're going to be doing. The first parakeet that I had, I had no choice in the matter. I found her. I don't know if you guys saw the video. But like three weeks ago when I was burying her, I told you guys how I found her. Hold on a second, I gotta wash this. <clears throat> so yeah, the first bird that I ever had was not my choice. It's a bird that I found on a lawn that I had a choice to make. I either leave her there and let her die or take her in and try to save her life and it wasn't any of a choice. It wasn't a choice at all. So. I learned about birds with her. Yeah, there's a lot of scrubbing involved with birds. But if you keep on top of it, it's not as bad. The problem I'm having today is that I have not been on top of it. So it's going to take a little extra elbow grease. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm getting more comfortable with this channel little by little. I'm not comfortable yet. Don't get me wrong. This channel pushes me so far out of my comfort zone. And I think that's a good thing. And I feel in my heart this channel is going to go somewhere. This is just the beginning stages. I feel this channel is going to go places. I have big plans. I love that you guys are hanging out with me. I so appreciate it. I feel not lonely. And it feels just easier. Projects feel a little easier when I'm like talking to you guys while doing them.
All right, the window's clean for the most part. I'm gonna let it kind of soak in. Can you guys see me down here? No. There's a little spot that I'm trying to clean on the floor. In a little while, we're gonna do like a whole floor wax. So that's actually a thing I love to do. But here I'm just getting up a couple, getting up a, a couple boops or a couple Amanda boops she lost along the way. Okay. The thing we still have left to do is the window. All right. Be right back. So this old sponge, this old sponge I'm going to keep on the side, like under my sink, to clean three other windows where she sits. One over here next to me to my left, and then two more in the living room. So we'll use the sponge up. This is no longer a dish sponge. This is just an old throwaway sponge after we're done with it. So the bird is always licking everything. So she licks the window with the windowsill. She licks everything in her sight. So what I'm doing now is just wiping down all the soap, getting all the soap off the window. So when she licks the window, she's not gonna get a mouthful of chemicals. You have to think about little birds any chemical that they take in, it's like a hundred times bigger for them than it is for us. So you have to be really, really careful. They're little bodies and little lungs. They can't handle scents and they can't handle chemicals. So I'm just wiping off that soap. And it might not come out to a perfect shine, but it's going to come out to a healthy bird. That's all I care about. So that's the top part. All right, so her favorite top part is perfectly clean. We're already at 13 minutes here. I still have the bottom to go and I still have the other side of the window to wash. So I'm gonna start a new video, guys. I so appreciate that you guys are hanging out with me. I. Sorry guys, I get a little bit emotional. But anyway, we're gonna get places with this channel and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys and this will be a two-parter. See you soon.